Hello, 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 hello. Welcome everyone. It's your boy Mrs. Jenner right back at it again for another motherfucking video. Oh my goodness. Man, it's great to be back. At first I had writer's block, so I ain't had much to say. I ain't I didn't think I had much to say to the team, to my fans and everybody. But I'm back and I want to give a special shout out to my homegirl, um, Kim. She really helped me. Uh, get out of my writer's block with this article well this news from playstation doing some questionable things and at first i wasn't going to talk about it because i was like <laughs> this don't affect me i'm american i don't give a fuck i'm i'm good i'm great and i got a ps5 already so it doesn't really fucking matter but then i started reading more of this shit and i was like you know what yeah this shit don't make no sense so basically for those that don't know uh sony has decided on the all smartness to raise the price of the ps5s for non non um, non us customers so that means uh europe middle east africa uh pacific asia um latin america and Canada, all those places, our price for the PS5 is going to be increased. Now, at first, it didn't really bother me because I was like, again, I don't care. I am a US citizen. I do not have a problem getting the PS5. I think a lot of people have been saying it's been hard to still get PS5. I'm like, bros, y'all doing something wrong. Y'all ain't y'all ain't y'all ain't hustling. Y'all ain't securing the bags right. Y'all gotta y'all gotta step y'all game up. Y'all gotta step the game up. I'm just securing the bags. I secured the bag like four times. No, I do not have four PS5s, but I did secure the bag multiple times. So if I was able to secure the bag multiple times, you guys should. But then I listened to what Jim Ryan, or should I say Jim Lyon, um, said, and, oh, why they increased it. And they said they increased it because of uh, inflation, high inflation. And I'm like, I, I gotta call bullshit because recently Xbox, Microsoft has came out and said, no, we're not increasing uh, the prices for the series X and S and I was like okay and Nintendo hasn't come out and say anything so I call fucking horseshit now they may be right they may be right on the simple fact that inflation might be the problem on why they have to increase it because uh, as we all know it is hard to get gas there's a lot of inflations going around all that so I'm like okay that's probably the reason why they had to do it but then I was thinking to myself, well then, let's be real. Do you guys really, and I'm going to repeat, really think the PS5 is worth increasing the price? Because I got to be real. I got to be honest. I got to be honest with Station fans. I got to be real with y'all. Besides a few simple games... I don't think the fucking PS5 is really worth it <laughs> at, at this moment. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Ratchet and Clank uh, Drift Apart was fucking dope. That felt like a PS5 game. Demon Souls feels like a PS5 game. Um, that's about the only two games that I really Etern uh, I think Returnal felt like a PS5 game. But other than that, there hasn't been a lot of games that to me has really proven why you need to get a PS5 uh, again Ragnarok is coming and that's going to be on the PS4 um, Horizon Bidden West I played a little bit of it I'm like oh this looks beautiful but I'm not really seeing anything that couldn't have been the PS4 I, I looked at something like you know Last of Us part one which i'm not even gonna touch upon that controversy so don't even ask but i will say that's just a remake of an of a game so that's not really a new experience so i think increasing the price was a bad mistake only because you don't got anything to back your shit up with 
again my biggest problem with the ps5 and why my ps5 is collecting dust is because they have literally nothing to really say okay this is the reason why i should be playing a ps5 in fact i would make the argument why aren't you on a pc because most if not all of the pc games uh playstation games in particular are coming to pc recently spider-man is uh, um came out on a pc i've been playing that again it's fucking amazing on pc by the way shout outs to nixon uh for making that pc port that pc port is amazing like it just runs beautifully smooth i'm talking 4k 60 beautiful 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 man that game runs smooth and ray tracing baby and mods bitch mods i could finally get black suit spider-man black suit i could finally get symbiote spider-man anywho but yeah like like that game is a fucking amazing so again i i need playstation to prove to me why it was necessary to increase the price because right now i don't see it and i'm not saying the games are not coming but as of right now i don't see why this price increase needed to happen when you when you really haven't shown us anything to get excited neither the only company in, in my humble opinion if they did increase the price has proven that the price increase would make more sense and i think would be reasonable is nintendo nintendo's been really killing it this year but other than that i don't think any of what playstation has been offering this year in particular has been worth this price increase for non-american fans uh another thing uh i'm just gonna say it right here uh xbox has been doing pretty well in terms of the us so i think that's another reason why they decided not to include the um increase the price for the us one because they know if they do us they're gonna fucking lose they're gonna lose so hard because microsoft can play this play this game for a long period of time they're microsoft they don't really need to make video games to be honest but it is what it is they, they're trying to get everybody's money and although they don't have any games i think the game pass subscription has been really good i don't know what jim ryan's fucking doing I, again, I've had a lot of problems with Jen Ryan on the head of PlayStation. He's only made one good move so far, and that is the PlayStation um, games coming to PC. I don't care what anybody says, but I don't feel like this is really an interesting or smart business move. Like, I know video games is a hobby and it's an expensive hobby. And especially if you're gonna get into this next gen, you're gonna you're gonna need to get a 4K monitor to really experience the true next gen. But there's nothing on these new next gen games that is worth paying increased price. Uh, especially since it is harder now to get the PS5 and the Series X. It is still hard. I've able to get mines easily, like I said before, but you know, and I didn't even scalp. I just was, I was just on my grind. But for some people, they're still struggling to get these shit. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what the fuck PlayStation is thinking. I think this is a really not really that smart of a move. Uh, I'm glad Microsoft has come out and said we're not increasing the price but we'll see if that sticks and if you really want to think about it and i did some research i would say though the the us our price got increased too because if you go on the playstation direct um website to get a ps5 the only one that really is selling or they're selling is the forbidden west bundle you know and that's like costs even more i believe that costs like uh, 100 and 550 or or more i'm not too sure but that costs way more so that was kind of a price increase so unless they decide hey we're you know that is we're gonna re-release the um the original ones the ones without the games um just the standard version then i would say we got a price increase and they don't have to put they didn't need to put a price increase just for 
um zero dawn since zero dawn is a playstation exclusive and that could have been easily bundled with the game but they didn't do that they they're charging you for that game as well so i, I think it's very weird i think this is a very weird time to be a fan of playstation i have not seen anybody online really praising this idea I, and i can't imagine anybody praising fuck it, this this idea I, I can't imagine anybody sitting there and saying yeah this is a smart idea to raise the price for ps5s when it's already hard to get the illegal way not the scalping way so i i, I just don't I think this is a bad idea playstation playstation what the fuck are you doing bro what the fuck are you doing man now if sony wanted to go down this route i think the best course of action and i just said it is to do what they kind of are doing with the playstation in the us which is bundle the ps5 with a game so that way yeah while the price has been increased at least you're getting a fucking game and probably i don't know increase the fucking storage because listen storage for the ps5 goes up extremely fast like you definitely when you're buying for those who don't own a ps5 yet i highly recommend you get a, a sd uh ssd um card before purchasing a ps5 because holy shit like you you can only hold like four, i would say like four to five video games god forbid you're a huge call of duty fan but you can't really hold a lot of games so i think that would have been the more course of action for sony because as it stands increasing the price for non-us people doesn't make any fucking sense at all if you're not gonna entice them on why you're gonna increase the price i don't know i'm not a business major this is probably why i would fucking flunk and i would fucking uh be a bad businessman because i'm too much of a people person sort of not really but sort of so i would probably fucking get my shit shut down uh, a week in the business and my shit would be instantly shut down um hopefully I, I think the only way places you can get out of this situation is if they announce a fucking playstation direct and they show off some bangers so you best hope and pray and pray to the to the fucking elder gods that they fucking show off some spider-man 2 gameplay or some wolverine or something just show something bro like like i i don't know no, right now my ps5 is collecting dust so i don't know this was this is this is some really dumb shit anywho i'm not gonna waste any more of you guys time like i said i don't really got much to say on this whole topic this shit is dumb jim ryan once again is just doing questionable shit on playstation man like this shit i get it i matter of fact i don't get it i understand console i said it before and i'll say it again consoles is a hobby but at the same time be reasonable you got to put out shit that is on the left to make you want to purchase these shits and right now i don't i would not recommend anyone get a ps5 until more ps5 exclusive games come out where are these ps5 exclusive games i'm not talking about cross again i'm talking about real ps5 exclusive games I've only seen three, and some of these games are coming on the PC. So, again, it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll see more soon. Anyway, guys, as always, I hope you liked the video. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Mash that like button. Comment on below. Let me know what you think. Should, should they have raised the price? Are you still trying to find a fucking PS5? Let me know, comment below, and make sure you subscribe to the motherfucking channel. We got more videos coming as soon as I figure out what the fuck I want to talk about. So, without further ado, I'm going to leave y'all to y'all day. Have a good one, everybody. Peace the fuck out.